Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video and I wanted to share with you guys all my favorite products that I'm loving for the month of January. I don't know if this is a little bit late that I'm posting a favorite video but I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I'm loving right now. So the first product that I'm completely loving right now and it's actually a product that I used to use way back when and I don't know why I stopped using it. You know when you use something so much and you get sick and tired of it? or it's not that you get sick and tired but you just feel like it doesn't do what it used to do um well that's pretty much my relationship with the mac studio finish concealer i used to use this product religiously because i have dark circles under my eyes and i have a really really bad habit of staying up really really late like sometimes up until four o'clock in the morning really bad and then i wake up at like eight o'clock in the morning like i literally run off four hours of sleep like that's so bad and it's not good for you and i do that a lot but i need a concealer that is gonna cover my dark circles i have dark circles i've always had dark circles it's genetics like it's I've always had them my whole life. This concealer is the bomb. Like the coverage with this concealer is amazing. It is full coverage concealer. Now one of the reasons why I actually stopped using this concealer was simply because I was using way too much before. And I was like, oh, it looks so cakey. Um, why does it look so cakey? Well, that was the reason why it looked cakey because I was using way too much. And with the Studio Finish Concealer from MAC, it's it's like full coverage concealer. You don't need a lot of it. A little goes a long way and I was doing the most with it. And that was obviously when I didn't really understand makeup and how to use makeup. So I was using way too much of this concealer. And now I just use a small amount and it's really, it's just really good to cover the dark circles and cover like any imperfection that you need to cover. It's a really amazing concealer when it's used the right way. So yeah, I really love this one. Okay, so we're gonna get a little personal right now and I'm gonna show you guys my cleavage. <laughs> okay girls, so we're gonna get a little personal right now and I'm gonna show you guys something that I'm really, really loving and it is the up bra. I'm actually wearing one right now, uh, but this is another one that I haven't even worn yet, but I freaking love this bra. This bra does wonders for my cleavage and it like literally pushes up my boobs and give me boobs because uh, I, I need a little lift. You know, I'm a mom, I had, had a baby, I breastfed. So mommy needs a little lift in that area. I'm gonna show you guys what it, what my booby cleavage area looked like without the bra and with the bra. I'm like so. So this is what my cleavage looks like without a bra and with the up bra. As you can see, my boobs look bigger on the right and it gives me a great lift now the thing that i actually love about the up bra the most is it's fully adjustable and you can control the lip and the cleavage you desire because it has an adjustable strap in the front of the bra that you can pull so you can set the degree of lift you want to me that is so amazing and it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all it does come with straps as well so you have the option to wear it strapless or it depends on what you're wearing so if you were wearing something that you don't want your bra strap to show you can wear strapless or non strapless but I absolutely love this bra it's amazing and another item that I'm really loving is what I'm wearing on my lips um, this is hover lip pencil by Mac I don't know why I've never purchased hover before but I absolutely am in love with this I love how it looks it's a very this is something I would wear like for an everyday look I really really love it and um, it's a lip pencil all over the lips, so it does it does feel a little dry, but uh, it's best to wear with a lip balm. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite products, and you guys are going to see me using it quite a lot. And I just wanted to sneak it into the favorites because just in case if anybody asks me what I'm wearing on my lips, that is what I'm wearing on my lips today is Hover Lip Pencil by MAC. So another product that I had to include in this month's favorite, I used them in my, I used them in my uh, Marcella... Uh, tutorial I can't remember but it's the Sedona lace uh, brushes I love these brushes I posted a picture of this a while ago on my Instagram as well and a lot of you guys are asking what brushes they are and it's the Sedona lace brushes and it's a 12 piece set I'm gonna put all the info in the description bar down below and these are synthetic brushes uh, for me to say I love a brush it has to like First of all, it has to be able to last long because 
obviously when I do my makeup I wash my brushes frequently and I hate when I wash brushes and they like fall apart in no time I've washed these brushes quite a few times now and they are still intact so I really love the fact that they are built really well and they don't shed either I hate I hate brushes that freaking shed a lot like I hate that you're like you know when you're applying your blush on your face and then you see like little hairs on your face like that that's not cute I mean I understand after the first wash but like the second and the third and the fourth why is there still hair coming out like I don't like that so I really really love these brushes they are amazing to work with um, I especially like this one for contour I love the contour so, so this is the Sedona Lace number 850 brush and I love to use this one to contour and the foundation that I wear most of the time is a cream foundation and I find that it's a lot easier to apply the cream foundation with a foundation brush and then I go over it with a beauty blender sponge just to make sure everything is nice and flawless so I absolutely love the Sedona Lace brushes and if you guys want more like an in-depth review please comment down below and let me know as well and I'll try to do that for you guys so I'm gonna try and see if I can get a coupon code on the Sedona Lace brushes for you guys if I can get one it will be in the description bar down below if you watch my videos you know I use the MAC Fix Plus setting spray well it's not a setting spray I use the MAC Fix Plus spray quite a lot in my video and it's just uh, it just refreshes the skin and it get rid it gets rid of any like cakey makeup look now I need something that's gonna set my makeup and lock it in and it's gonna last all day long and I've been hearing so much about the Urban Decay uh, setting sprays I heard they're really amazing and I've been hearing about them for quite some time so I finally gave in and I bought the Urban Decay all-nighter makeup setting spray it is absolutely amazing like my makeup does not budge like it lasts all day long when I use this product and I have like as you guys can see I have like a small bottle and I love it so much that I'm gonna go and get the larger size because when I'm buying a product for the first time especially if they have like different sizes I like to get the small product just in case it doesn't work out and I don't waste my money so I bought like the smallest cheapest one which is like $15 Canadian I'm not sure how much it is anywhere else because Canadian makeup prices are so different from like the US but yeah um, I bought this one and I really really love it it does keep my makeup on all night long so in my last favorite videos I told you guys like one of my makeup obsession and that is foundation so I think I buy a new foundation like maybe every two months maybe I think I don't know I'm not sure but that's one of my biggest purchases is foundation and lipstick I love foundations I love trying out new foundations and when it comes to foundation I might break the bank a little bit and spend a bit much on foundation because I'm always looking for a foundation that has like the perfect coverage it looks like skin like I'm a foundation junkie seriously so in my last uh, favorites video I told you guys how much I love foundations I'm a foundation junkie so I picked up a new foundation and I have to tell you guys about this foundation because it's a foundation that I've actually used in the past and I stopped using it because I found that um, on camera it would make me look really really oily so it wasn't like I wanted like a dewy finish look but not oily and like greasy look that's how it was making me look on camera especially with the lighting because it would get like really really hot so I stopped using the foundation but I started using it again actually and you know what I'm really loving it because they also changed the formulation and it is the uh, Bobbi Brown foundation stick the shade that I use is in golden if you want to see what that foundation I'm not wearing it today but I wore it in my last tutorial so yeah I wore it in my last tutorial um, I'll just link the video down below so if you guys want to see what it looks like if you haven't seen that video um, yeah so I'm really loving the Bobbi Brown foundation stick so the coverage is a medium coverage but it's definitely buildable and I love the fact that it looks like skin I love when foundation look like skin so I love the fact that it's not kiki and it looks like skin um, I do have um, combination skin so my skin is more on the normal side and my skin does tend to change with the weather so because it's winter right now my skin like some areas are like dry but I'm usually a little bit more oily in the t-zone area but yeah this is definitely one of my favorite foundation for like a uh, really nice natural skin look so yeah this is definitely a favorite of mine 
Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I love the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner. It's one of my favorite gel liner. However, I've been looking for something that's darker, more intense, and I've been hearing a lot of great things about the Tardiest Tarte Liner, and I finally went out and bought it because I was so sick and tired of seeing everybody posting on Instagram about how amazing this liner is, and I finally gave in. I actually went on the Sephora website and I saw it on the website and I was just like, oh my gosh, no, that is way too expensive for liner. Like, this liner is $29.99, I believe. That's Canadian price, so $29.99 and I was just like, mm -mm, that is way too expensive. However, I was just like, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give in. I'm just gonna give in and get it. I'm gonna see what the hype is about. And I went to Sephora and I, I bought it. It comes with a little brush, but I barely use the brush. I like, I don't even know where the brush is, but yeah, it comes with a little brush. And I mainly use my angle brush to apply my liner. I find that it's easier for me to use an angle brush. And you guys, I kid you not, this liner, this little, this liner is amazing. Like it is so dark and it's so intense and it goes on so easy and smooth. And most gel liners, I find that when you apply them, it gets all like, it, I find that most gel liner, once you apply it, it gets dry so fast that you can't even like reapply it. Like, I don't like liners like this, like that, and I find that this liner does not do that. It goes on really, really smooth, and it's just so easy to work with. I, I, ju I just really, really love this liner. and. When I first saw it, I was actually a little hesitant to purchase it because it comes in like a little tube like this. Like it looks like a lip gloss. And I was just thinking about like when I squeeze it, is like, am I going to get a lot of product coming out? But you don't. It's like such a small amount of product that comes out. So you're not even wasting your product. So yeah, I really love the fact that it's in this little tube thingy and it's just a small amount of liner that comes out and I'm not wasting my product but yeah it's actually what I'm wearing today I really really love it and it stays on all day as well so I am so here for this liner love it now I'm a lash girl I love lashes and I've especially fallen in love with bottom lashes I've been doing a lot of looks lately that involves bottom lashes because honey I do not have any lashes on my bottom lash line can you guys see my lashes right now? Like, non-existent. I don't have any bottom lashes. So, I just finally got into the habit of wearing bottom lashes. I'm not wearing any today, but I love the way they look. And I picked up some Ardell lashes, individual lashes. And I've never really been a big fan of wearing individual lashes on my bottom lash line. But I did a look... Uh, my last tutorial, I did a look with the uh, Ardell lashes, and I must say, I really, really love it. I love the way it looks, and I'm actually gonna do a tutorial for you guys very, very soon with how to apply bottom lashes, because a lot of you guys say you still need help with applying bottom lashes, and it's still hard for you. It's, 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 it's not, I don't think it's very hard, but it does take a little practice with like any makeup. It takes a little practice, but believe me guys, it's, it's, it's actually not, if I find that the lash to apply the la bottom lash strip is a little bit easier, but I'm going to do a tutorial showing you guys how to apply the bottom individual as well as bottom, um, strip lashes and top lashes. I just, uh, I'm just waiting for my other lashes to come and then I'll do the video because I just ordered a whole bunch of bottom lashes from uh, House of Lashes because I really love their bottom lashes in pressure. So I'm just waiting for that to come and once I get that, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna film you guys that video very, very soon, so yeah. Now, you know, I love to highlight and contour. That's like probably one of my favorite things to do. And I do it almost in every single one of my videos. And one of my, my favorite foundation, which is the Cover Effects Total Cover Cream Foundation, they came out with a contour kit, you guys. So they came out with the Cover Effects Contour Kit, and it is cream i freaking love cream contour so much i'm like so excited about this product and they actually it was actually sent to me but they did not ask me to do a review they did not they're not paying me to talk about it or nothing this is just my personal opinion on this product and i really oops <laughs> and this one is in the shade and deep and the reason why i love using creams 
to so one of the reasons why I like to use cream to contour with is because I find that it's really easy to work with and it's easy to blend and I usually go over my cream with powder as well because the cream it doesn't for, for me it doesn't last all day so I have to set it with powder as well but if you guys want I will do a video of uh, highlighting and contouring with the cover effects um, contour kit for you guys which is what I'm actually wearing today so if you guys want to see that video please comment down below and let me know but yeah I'm absolutely loving this product right now, now I don't know if I showed you guys this product in my last favorite videos I think I'm not sure but I'm gonna show it to you guys again just in case if I forgot I know when I when I was filming the video I put it like I put all the products in front of me but I can't remember if I showed this to you guys or not but uh, I'm absolutely obsessed with this product this is the Sephora micro smooth illuminator in stardust it's a lot it's actually a dupe I would say a little similar to NARS albatross but I like it a bit more because I find that it's a little bit more golden and it's a little bit more shimmery and I love the shimmer love the shimmer so yeah I love the uh, Sephora illuminator gorgeous 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 it's just it's just it's just glowing I love it I love a really good eyeshadow base and I've been using a lot the MAC Pro Long concealer but for some reason even though everyone says that concealer doesn't really crease on my eyelid I just find that it's been creasing up a bit so I went back to using the MAC soft Oracle paint pot and I had to include it in my favorites because I don't know why I ever stopped using it I absolutely love this product it is amazing it is just a great base for your eyeshadow um, it does ensure that your eyeshadow lasts all day long now I love the fact that it makes the eyeshadow look super pigmented so that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love this product and yeah I'm really glad I'm back to using it again so yeah that is pretty much all the products that I have to show you guys that I'm really really loving right now my battery is about to die so I will see you guys in another video very very soon bye